<laughs> yeah, y'all know I was gonna come get at y'all motherfucking cabbage. You know it. You know I had to do it to you motherfuckers. You know I had to. What you bitches got to say now, huh? What? Fuck you niggas gonna do now, huh? I'm listening. What happened? Not only did Deontay Wilder announce that he's finna take on Luis Ortiz, but after that, Tyson Fury, the Gypsy Queen, has already signed, sealed, and delivered. So the next two heads on his platter we know is Ortiz and then the Gypsy Queen. And Wada taking that lineal title from him, then it's on to that other guy. You know? Who'll finally, you know what I'm saying, go learn to humble himself. And know not to mess with no boss like that and try to disrespect a boss like that. Yeah. Oh, y'all fucked up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, y'all ain't gonna lay this one down. I ain't gonna let you live it down. Yeah, remember all that? Nobody wants to see your T's rematch. Now, 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 now Wild is trending like crazy on Twitter. All over social media. So whenever, you know what I'm saying, that other guy fight Ruiz, which I think is like September 1st or something like that, you know, which is a few months away. Who cares? He's irrelevant. Who are we going to fight after that? Cool Brad Pulev. Good luck with that. Oh, I mean, or Alexander Usyk. Or he can go back and fight Dillian White. You know? Let's see how many people tune in for that. Over here in the U.S. You know? They're going to take that shit back to the U.K. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, man. You know, this This is just, you know, I mean, this is just amazing, man. You know what I mean? Like I told y'all last night to go off on these haters on YouTube. Helps whining, and bitching, and moaning about Wilder Ortiz, too. As if it's not a damn good fight. If the first fight wasn't um, scintillating and electrifying. As if the first fight wasn't captivating. They act like the first fight didn't have ebbs and flows. Wilder knocks him down to 50, comes back, and he stuns Wilder in the, um, in the seventh. They had Wilder on the ropes. Had Wilder dazed. But then they say... The controversy comes in, whereas Wilder got extra time. But if you know anything, you know, the New York State Athletic Commission got sued because they didn't check a boxer and he died from brain injuries. And they had to come up off of millions or at least about $20 million. The family sued them for it and they won. So they weren't going for that. But Luis Ortiz still had the eighth round, even with them extra 20 seconds to still finish Wilder. You know what I'm saying? That's a big dude hitting you, so that's no excuse, neither here nor there. But, Deontay Wilder, Luis Ortiz is signed. Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury is signed. The biggest fights in the heavyweight division all involve Deontay Wilder. You know, nobody in America knows Deontay Wilder. I thought nobody knew him, though. Yet, I mean, any meaningful fight, Wilder Joshua, Wilder Fury, Wilder Ortiz, Wilder versus White. There's a trend. It's Deontay Wilder's name. He's nobody, though. Without him, your favorite fighter is a nobody. They have to take their bad ass back over to the UK for them kibbles and bits. That's what they have to do. See, you want the 50 plus million dollar paydays? You got to come over here to America and holler at our champ. Must see TV. Mr. Must see TV, the realest champ on the planet, hands down. You haters can't even deny it. Even though you will try to, but I mean, who cares? It is what it is. So, once again, Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury, two is a done deal. The rematches, like he said, any controversy, one fell on his knees, one fell on his back. There's some controversy, so we're going to run it back. He's going to take care of both of them this time. Y'all know what it is. It's your boy, CB Sports TV. Shout out to the LDBC.